Watch. Let's bring in Kathy Zoy, the CEO of EVGO, uh, from the NASDAQ market site. Uh, Kathy, you've completed the $2.6 billion uh, SPAC merger IPO. You're going to bring in about $575 million to expand your operations. Give me a roadmap for what's next for EVGO as you look out over the next couple of years. Well, look, Phil, the, the transportation market is electrifying, and there is expected to be, you know, by 2040, 100 million new EVs on the road. By In the next five years, 25 million. Right now, we're at about 1 million EVs. All of those EVs need to be charged, and EVGO is going to be out there helping provide that infrastructure for charging everywhere in America. You know, the Biden administration is hoping to get uh, 500,000 uh, EV charging stations as part of the infrastructure bill. Uh, and more than a few people have said, A, they got to be fast charging, and it's not clear that they will be fast charging. It's also not clear that they're going to get all of that if a transportation bill is ultimately approved. What's your outlook? Well, my outlook is that 500,000 chargers is fantastic, but I'm guessing that about 100,000 of those are going to be fast charging, and the remainder are going to be in places like apartments and, and workplaces where people are going to be for a long time. Um, and that ecosystem of charging solutions is really what's needed to get, as I say, to get across America and to create that comfort with drivers that they can buy an EV because they're going to be able to charge at home, at work, on the go. What do you hear back from people uh, as they are, and, and I'm not just talking about people within the industry, but whether it's friends, neighbors, other folks who are considering buying an electric vehicle, do you feel like we have crossed over the bridge in terms of people no longer saying, yeah, maybe someday, and to now saying, okay, I can see that my next vehicle will be an electric vehicle, or within five years I'm going to buy an electric vehicle? What do you hear back from people? Well, I hear exactly that. I hear, I hear this combination of reasons that people are getting really excited about EVs. There's so many more choices, whether you want an SUV or a small car, and now even with the emergence of pickup trucks that are going to be electric. So that abundance of choices, the price points of those choices are, are making it more affordable for more, more kinds of people and more kinds of drivers. And then the spread of infrastructure. So, you know, the first few years of the electrification revolution in America, really, California led the way. 75% of, of America's of EVs right now are in California, but that's changing so quickly. We're building nationally. We are already in 34 states, and we're doubling down on all of those new places to create that comfort among drivers that when they go to the grocery store, they're going to be able to charge their car. Uh, Kathy, it's David Faber. When you uh, announced your deal to go public through the SPAC uh, Climate Change Crisis Real Impact One back in uh, late January, you put out projections of uh, 2026, 905 million in revenues, and 2027, 1.289 billion. Uh, do you still feel comfortable with those projections, or perhaps think you can exceed them? Well, it's fascinating, Phil. I think that the electrification revolution is happening even more quickly than we would have thought. I mean, I think about a month ago, Bloomberg put out a new forecast that raises the number of EVs that they think are going to be on the roads that quickly. The wonderful thing about EVGO's business model is that as if more EVs are on the road, then we can build more fast chargers to serve those EVs conveniently, reliably, where people love to work and play. Um, and so, you know, we're, we're, we're poised. If the market grows faster, we're poised to meet that demand. Kathy, it's Morgan. I'm curious about power capacity. As we see more and more electric vehicles come online and have more and more needs to, to charge up at stations such as yours, do we have enough infrastructure currently in place to deliver that electricity? And what is it going to take to bring those rates down? Well, we, we partner really closely with the electric utilities. EVGO purchases power from whoever the local utility is, and we work really closely to make sure that the infrastructure is there. And so far, so good. We, you know, we, we absolutely, without a doubt, our, our electricity system is poised to, to embrace and fully support electrification of transportation. It's going to require some planning, particularly as we get into bigger trucks with higher battery capacities. But at this point, if we work in lockstep as the market grows for EVs, um, with the utilities being a partner, there is no doubt in my mind that this is going to be a modern, clean energy system in America. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.